Hey guys, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to be what I spend in a week as a 25 year old living in Raleigh, North Carolina. Nala will be joining us for this video apparently. But in case you guys do not know, I am currently 25. I am a registered nurse and I live here in a one bedroom apartment in Raleigh, North Carolina right now. So I've seen a lot of these videos and I think it's so interesting to see what people actually spend their money on and how much they spend in a week. So I thought I would hop on this trend and share with you guys what I spend. I'm filming this at this part at the end of the week. So I do already know what I've spent. Um, and you know, obviously as I feel like every time I watch one of these videos, there's always some sort of unexpected expense, right? That, oh, in a typical week, I wouldn't spend this much. Um, and I definitely have those this week as well, but I also have some very typical expenses to share. So I thought that this could be helpful for some of you guys. So let's jump in to what I spent this week. Okay. So starting off on Monday of this week, I picked up some meal prep that I get from a local meal prep store. It's called Clean Eats, E-A-T-Z. I know there's many locations throughout North Carolina and I believe they're in other states as well, but I picked up four meals from them. I bought two of their hibachi steak meal preps and two of their um, chili chicken mac and cheese meal preps. And so I don't buy these every week, but I buy them a lot when I'm on night shift because they're really easy to bring with me to eat for dinner at work. So like I said, I got those four meals and my total was $35.51 for those four meals, which is a really, really good price. I don't think I've seen any other meal prep type places that are this affordably priced and the quality of the food is super good. Next up, I did work on Monday night. So on my way to work, I did stop at Chick-fil-A to pick up one of their Sunjoy lemonade iced tea things. I was really craving one for some reason and I live very, very close to a Chick-fil-A. So I drove through the drive-thru and picked one up on my way to work. That was $2.48. And then last up for Monday, I did have to put Nala in doggy daycare this day because I didn't have any of my friends or my normal like dog walkers that could come and take her out. So I did put her in doggy daycare overnight and I did also have them give her a bath because we were just in Charlotte last week and she was a little bit stinky from being out in the heat all the time. So that was $80, it was $60 for daycare and then $20 for her bath. So my total for Monday is $117.99 for Monday. Moving in to Tuesday, I did once again work Tuesday night. So I did stop on my way to work and I stopped at Starbucks. Starbucks is doing the thing for the month of July where you get 50% off an iced drink if you come on Tuesday. So I definitely took advantage of that and got my iced white chocolate mocha with sweet cream, cold foam and almond milk and all that good stuff. I did have a Starbucks gift card, so I did not pay any actual money for it, but the drink was $3.99 with the 50% off just for some context. And then I did have to pay $15 for my dog walker to come take out Nala while I worked. And then I did also, while I was at work on Tuesday night, book a flight <laughs> because I'm going to the Bahamas with my friend Danielle and her parents at in September. So I booked my flight on Tuesday while I was at work because the prices are best on Tuesdays, I heard. And based on how I had been tracking it, it was the cheapest I think I was ever going to find it for. So my flight to the Bahamas was $551.87. So yeah, Tuesday took a big hit for that flight, but obviously not every week in my life I'm buying a flight, but full transparency, I bought a $550 flight on Tuesday. 
And then I did pre-buy a movie ticket and some popcorn for a movie I saw later in the week. And that was $7.20 because I do have a movie subscription. So my ticket was already paid for with my subscription that I paid for at the beginning of the month. And then my food was the $7.20. So I pre-bought it on Tuesday, but I went to go see the movie on Thursday. So my total for Tuesday was $574.07. That is not including the $3.99 on Starbucks because like I said, I had a gift card. So I did not actually pay for my drink that day. Wednesday, I spent zero dollars. I came home from work and I slept all day and I didn't spend a single penny on Wednesday. So Wednesday was zero dollars for the total. Moving into Thursday, Thursday was a little bit of a pricey day for me as well. Starting off in the morning, I did have a therapy session. I do therapy basically every single week I do it virtually and my copay for therapy is $35. So I spent $35 on therapy on Thursday morning. And then I did make an Amazon purchase of some books for something that's coming up that I'll talk about in a future video. If you're more interested in my nursing career things, I did buy some nursing related books and the total for all of those books that I bought was $232.50. I bought four different books just for a little bit of context on that. I did also need to stop and fill up my tank on Thursday, which is so sad with gas prices right now, but to fill up my tank, I spent $49.85. I had some gas points that helped me lower the gas price for me a little bit. I think I had enough gas points to get like 20 cents off per gallon, which was really nice. Uh, 